Now at 5.30, family and friends are gathering to remember the football player and recent high school graduate who died in a shooting. Investigators say the 19-year-old was just trying to de-escalate a fight. Now the community is honoring the Melbourne High football player with a vigil. News 6's James Barbero has the details on that and an update on the man facing charges in the shooting. Get that gun and detain him. How 26-year-old Greg Barr went from talking to police when he was arrested to appearing in a wheelchair three days later in court is the result of a brain injury, according to his attorney. Are you arguing that Mr. Barr is not competent to stand trial? Absolutely, he's not competent right now. Greg Eisenmenger argues his client was acting in self-defense last Friday night when West Melbourne police say he shot 19-year-old Andre Huchanis, who tried calming down Barr and another man who were fighting over spilled beer. Put the guns down! Rushing to Columbia Lane, police say this dirt road bonfire was attended by as many as 100 teens and young adults. Police say before shooting Huchanis, Barr pulled a knife on the 19-year-old and the other man. The Melbourne High School graduate and football alum punching Barr before the fatal shot. The unfortunate circumstances of him defending somebody else is his character. That's the way he seemed and was always looking out for his teammates. Tonight, Huchanis' head football coach will help the community remember the standout lineman with a vigil on his old field. He was a great player. The thing about Trey was he was just so polite and nice. And as for Barr, his attorney says the second degree murder suspect is now in the hospital. I'm going to attempt to have the court release him from custody so that his family can get him proper medical care. In Melbourne, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero getting results news 6.